To create statistical key figures in SAP S4 HANA using Fiori, we navigate to the application called Manage Statistical Key Figures, this one over here. Select this one and over here you can see the start screen for the management of statistical key figures. By the way, you can only see this application if the relevant business roles are assigned to your user. Therefore, you can always click on this button over here, click on About, and then just copy the app ID in the so-called Fiori Reference Apps Library. I will leave you a link in the description of this video. There you will see the roles that you need to assign to your user. Okay, over here you can see a search bar, so we can search for existing statistical key figures via different search criteria. So for instance, via the editing status, so whether we want all of these statistical key figures to be displayed or only those ones who are not yet created in full, but only in draft, or even statistical key figures locked or unsaved by other users and unchanged ones. But this is not mandatory. Mandatory is the controlling area. So we will select a controlling area. I will just choose A000 in my example. And by the way, I have another video explaining you all details about the controlling area. I will leave the link in the description of this one. Here, we can also search for specific statistical key figures if needed, quantity units or categories, and we can also adapt our filters. Now let's click on go. And here you can see a couple of statistical key figures are already existing in my system. We can for sure select this statistical key figure and then display line items and cost accounting or even click on more links to navigate to other applications. We can also click on this arrow over here to inspect the details. Now you can see that our screen split it. On the left hand side, you can still see the filters and on the right hand side, you can now see the detailed information for this particular statistical key figure. So far, so good. Let's go back and we can also select the statistical key figure and copy. As you can see, the split structure opened again, and now the values are copied from our already existing statistical key figure to the new one. For now, I will click on this card draft because we will create a new one from scratch. Before we click on create, you can also delete a statistical key figure. So if we hit this indicator, then you get this warning message to delete the statistical key figure, and then you can delete it. Also, you can check via the where use button where the statistical key figure is used. Let's actually click on this one. Here you can see the statistical key figure is used, for instance, in cost allocation cycles, which makes sense because we will use the statistical key figures to allocate costs periodically. And you can even click on this one to inspect more details. And here you can navigate to the cost allocation cycle if necessary. Okay, let's go back and back again. Last but not least, you can also always export here the information to a spreadsheet if needed. Now let's come to the creation. We click on create. You can see the split structure opened again. And now we need to fill the information. So first of all, we need to give our statistical key figure an ID. This ID can be up to six characters and alphanumeric. Let's just say Z, one, two, three, four, five. Now we also need to provide a name. So let's just say the statistical key figure is used to allocate electricity costs like that. Then we have our controlling area, which is mandatory. So each and every statistical key figure must be assigned to exactly one controlling area. And then we have here the quantity unit. Let's inspect the search help. Here we will select W. That's it. And now you need to choose the category. So I explained you the category already in my other video. I will leave the link in the description of this one. But just for short, this key figure category determines whether the values of the key figure, so whether the values of our electricity costs should remain the same for all months, this would be fixed values, or whether they should only apply for one month. This would be the total values over here. And this always depends whether the costs remain steady or whether the costs vary between the different months. For now, we will say total values. Over here, you can also translate your statistical key figures to separate languages via the create button, then just insert your language key and the name in the respective language. Now let's click on create and our statistical key figure was saved. Okay, so far so good. It's always possible to edit an existing statistical key figure. However, in my other video, I already explained you when it makes sense to edit a statistical key figure and when not. Also, we could delete 
the statistical key figure copied from here or see where it's used. Now let's actually assign some values to the statistical key figure via the application called manage statistical key figure values. This one over here. You can see a new screen opened where we could inspect already existing key figure values via Go or we can create new ones. So let's click on create. And here we can insert some header information. So let's just say allocation of electricity costs. Then we have the document date and the posting date as well as our controlling area, which is mandatory. Now we insert the receiving cost center and then we select our statistical key figure Z12345. Now we need to add the costs. Therefore, we click here on upload. We can choose between CSV or Excel. Let's for now just say Excel. Then we click on download a template with current items. Once the download is finished, you can see it over here. So we have our receiver cost center 1000, our statistical key figure, and then we need to insert here quantity. Let's just say 10. So this means that 10 kilowatt hours will be transferred to the cost center 1000. As you can see, there are lots of more allocation options over here, but for now this is fine. Let's just save and close the view. Now we click on browse and then we select our template and click on open. You can see one item is ready for upload, confirm. You can now see the file was successfully uploaded. So this is fine. We can now click on create. Okay, this is basically it. By now we created a statistical key figure via the manage statistical key figures. And then we created a new statistical key figure value posting. So we assigned 10 kilowatt hours to our receiver cost center 1000. Yeah, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.